think it's Tuesday. I've been delivering boxes since 6 a.m. And I'm officially cardboard. Time flies when you're running on fumes and Japanese food. There's one more package to deliver. Huh. Until then, future me, stay safe. And, hey, seriously, don't call Mars. It's over. Just be cool and take a breath. Not like Mars. Oh my gosh! Low this one? It's covered in dust. <sighs> For Madame Magnolia, matriarch of Magnolia Manor at the top of Bunker Hill, or 14 West Ridgemount Avenue. Sorry, I couldn't find any location matching that description. Oh, what do you know? You're just a tiny computer. Bunker Hill, huh? for Madame Magnolia. A package? I'll be right there. That's impossible. Those letters. The kerning. I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> My emotions got the better of me. Where do I sign, Mr. Booker? Well, how did you know my The name na tag? Oh, <laughs> uh, right. You know, this feather came from one of North America's rarest birds. I'm sorry? The plume-tailed wally -goggle. It had the remarkable ability of kicking a grown person 25 feet back without fail. Unfortunately, some terribly rude people did some terribly rude things, and the wally -goggle has gone the way of the giant snail. I'm sorry. Don't worry. I've made my peace. Well, enjoy your package. Do come back later. We're having a party tonight to celebrate the Gord Moon. After opening the package, of course. Uh, a, a, a party? Seven o'clock sharp. That is, unless you're the fashionably late type. In that case, 701 will do just fine. Is this a white elephant? Like, would I need to bring something? Just yourself in the smartest costume you own. Although, admittedly, an albino pachyderm would be a terrific sight. Picture exotic dishes beyond your wildest dreams. Merry melodies, friends all around. A night to remember for a good long while, free of a certain despicable creature. Well, Madame Magnolia. Call me Scarlet. Scarlet? I'll totally be there. I'm not going. What a surprise. My heart's bursting from shock. Burst away, Hallie. I'm not going to this party, and you can't change my mind. Oh my gosh, chill. You always do this. <laughs> no, there's always a reason. One, don't own a costume. No costume, no party, obviously. Two, don't know anyone there, so that's super awkward right off the bat. And three, Booker, I don't think there's a third. Oh, there's totally a third. It's coming. Just, uh, just uh, give me a minute and... Uh... There's always a reason not to do something, ding ding. I know it's been hard since... My therapist told me about this 333 thing. Whenever you're stressed, just focus on three objects, three sounds, and three body parts you can move. But if it's too dark or whatever, it helps to have some go-to stuff. Like what? 
peach, pear, pomegranate, and hand, foot, amygdala. What? Two chimps slapping hands. I don't know. It's just a really serene scene. Okay. Weird, but no. The amygdala. Uh, the... Amygdala. They're the bulgy blobs in your brain that make emotions and junk. Yeah, but you said to choose a body part you can move. How can you move your brain? Just go! Stop holding up with all your overpriced kids' toys and get out of that apartment! Oh, okay. Not toys, model kits, and I'll have you know, most of them are ages 16 and up. But, maybe you're right. This might be just what I need. You're always talking about exploring the world, so just do it. Face your fears and punch them in the face! Right in the face! Yeah! Okay! Whew. Thanks, Hallie. Have a nice shift. I won't! Look out, Vespertine! Book of Grey is coming right at you! And he's doing it with fresh restaurant ramen noodles. <laughs> you can't run from your problems, Yusuke. I've been inside your mind. Impossible! I can't believe it! How can this be true, Kenji? With such an earth-shattering revelation, Yusuke is in check. Tune in next week for the mind-bending season finale. It's party time! And that means friends, fun, Okay, I get it. I'm going, I'm going. I still don't have a costume. Don't have an answer for that, do ya? Did you just hit my window? Oh, sorry, sorry. Just, uh, just practicing my rock juggling. Just one kind of slip. <laughs> no worries, man. Uh, you're doing great. Ah, thank you very much. You know, I've been practicing a lot, and I've been thinking that I've got a little better no, than I was. You've got to be kidding me. Attention shoppers. Hello, Balo Gunta here. Reminding you that no today way, is that a Kago Sinistar costume? Josh totally is. I only sold them in stores. But if I wore that, would anyone know who I was? I literally have no idea what you're supposed to be. Let's all point and laugh at the boy in his terrible outfit. Maybe not that one. All sales are fine. Pick me! What are you doing in here, kid? Hiding! Don't tell! Pick me! Beepy the horse? Are you kidding? I can't wear this. Why not? Because, strange clothing rack child, I would look ridiculous. Here. Everybody loves this. Awesome choice, man. What's it for? I'm <clears throat> going to a costume party at Magnolia Manor. Magnolia Manor? You yanking my chain? People have been trying to get in there for ages! Wait, seriously? Seriously, seriously, dude. Those parties are legendary! Only one every single year. Oh, I didn't realize it was that big of an event. Huge! From what I've heard, things can get a little weird over there. Okay, uh, things can get weird.
here. Don't worry, man. It'll be a blast. Drive safe and have fun. Hello, I am here for the party. No, no, that's lame. Party, party, party. No, that's... That's too much party. Hey, howdy, hey, I'm here for the party. Uh, who are you? Booker. Booker Gray. I should be on the guest list. We don't have a guest list. Oh. We don't really have guests here. Well, I, 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 I spoke with Scarlet and- Booker! So you're that type after all. Do come in. I'm so glad you're here. This is Candy, Natalie, Colonel Corn, Despero, and you've met Lily already, haven't you? This is Booker, the wonderful person who brought us our package. Oh, follow me. There's so much to show you. Lights galore. This is what I've waited for. Take my hand, let's go explore the mansion. Sights, sounds, everybody's all around. Come on down, let's go explore the mansion. Look at all these chefs with food fresh from the farm. They're churning sticks and mixing things and adding love to soup Beijing. Let them work their magic, let them work their charm. For after all, the dining hall is packed white gold. Be alarmed, these lovely folks are here Dining in tonight They'd say a toast's in order, don't you think? Well, I suppose Right then, lights galore This is what we've waited for Come on now, let's all enjoy the mansion Sights, the sounds Friendly faces all around Raise a hand and raise a glass for now Enjoy, everyone! Uh... Is that a waffle with beans on it? Disgusting, right? I hate it. What did the bean waffles do to you? A waffle took everything from me! I can't stand the side of waffles! We went over this in the frame! I picked them for the quick bread this year, O'Neill! Show me some respect! Mm. Huh. So, what do you do, Mr. Booker? Oh, I'm, uh... Delivery driver for Gofar. Ah, this is the village box boy you are speaking of. An honorable profession, I must admit. To the box boy! To the box boy! How ridiculous. I know that, silly. What do you do for fun? For fun? Cool guy stuff. What does that entail? Mr. Booker? Where do I begin? Uh, performancing? Sport? And, uh, sausages. Sausages. How interesting! An individual like yourself will fit right in, especially for tonight's next event, musical theater! <laughs> Now I know you, and 
you know me? Oh, how can it be that I know you? La 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 la. Mr. Booker, I recall performancing was one of your hobbies. Yeah, um, I've done improv with my friends a couple of times, and I almost joined theater in high school. I heard they're accepting volunteers for the next act. Wow, yeah, I'd love to do that, but I don't know, I, I just wish there was some magic way to push myself to try new things. Sometimes I wonder about myself. Nolite Evanese! Who what are you doing? Ah, magic to put you on the stage, of course. What? You're doing magic? <laughs> oh, alright, this is happening, this is real. Uh, <sighs> moving outward, stepping out of my skin. Shaking thoughts that I've been telling myself Not gonna blame my brain Gonna live in the now Cause when you're on the stage You better entertain Come on, I'm living it up How did it take me so long To see that everyone's been dancing along But when you're worried about The record playing inside You're always missing the smiles From people hearing your song I'm letting it go now The picture is faded Enjoying the show now The storm dissipated It's okay to feel what you're feeling It's not the end all to your being I know Myself. Maybe I should try out for the local theater. Or cut a rug at the dance hall. You got a ducky bounce in your stride, kid. <laughs> hey, you've got some moves yourself. Pardon me, Booker. Being the wonderfully interesting character that you are, have you come across any explorers down in Vespertine? Explorers? No, no. It's a sleepy city. Big enough, you know, downtown's bustling, but some people talk about weird. Stuff. Magic wells, giant bugs in the forest, come on. I didn't believe them until tonight, I guess. Seems like everybody's got a tall tale about mysterious figures lurking in the shadows. Scarlet, that man in the white mask, do you know? Have you seen the first pearl this evening? I'm sorry? It's the Gourd Moon! I was just reminded by that gentleman in the porcelain wizard! Alsworth is our resident moonographer. My word! It'll be at its peak in just five minutes' time! It would be remiss of me to not invite Magnolia's guest of honor! Oh, Booker, you should go! I suppose... yeah. Yeah! Come, come, my boy! To the observatory! Without a moment to waste! Now, where is that pesky moon? No. Aha! Look, my boy! Can't you see the similarity between our pale lady and the common jack-o'-lantern? Wow, yeah, I can totally see it. Why haven't I heard of this before? Owlsworth? If I may be frank, Booker, they don't like you. You're merely a novelty. A rotten, blackened stain on an otherwise perfect party. What did you do to her? That performance was a fluke. We both know it. You're nothing more than a lowly box boy. Ripe with juicy, plump insecurities. The feet
feast. I've been waiting for. There's no escape. <laughs> Scarlet? I have no idea. I thought he came with you. Oh, no, 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 he didn't. We have to get out of here. Leave the manor? Oh. Okay, see that tree? There's a family of elves in there that can shelter you until dawn. That won't be necessary. Painted Scarlet. You! Clever disguise, especially after you. I've had quite enough of you, imposter. You've locked me up for the last time. Time. Mars? She's not coming back, Booker. We both know that. You did this to yourself. I'm merely shining a light on your mess. I need to drag you down further than before. <laughs> Take your spirit, rip it into shreds, destroy the form. It's burning like a candle. Confidence is fuel unto the flame. Wax and wane, melt again. Till a weeping husk remains. Tremble all you like, feel your amygdala hijacked. You're growing tall, so face, face the walls. walls and come to fear to my attack. Go back, fall slack, and fade to black. Carnival, you're the clown. Just nothing but a lowly failure. Give up, boy, your days are numbered now. Who are you? Why are you doing this? You still talking? Pathetic. People like you deserve to be ground. Into the dirt. I am the darkness of the mind, Booker. Ever looming. Starving. Waiting to. Did you just punch me in the face? This is for Scarlet! This is for Owlsworth! This is for me! I don't know who you are! I don't know where I am! But I won't go down without a fight, you... You weird thing! It's been so long since my last meal. The sweet honey of human insecurities. I can't even harvest it right. The triumph of the spirit. All those years, and you're the first to show it. It's no wonder they fear me. What's happening? Weren't you just trying to kill me? Booker, don't follow me. And tell them. Tell them I'm sorry. They'll listen to you, but they'll never hear from me again. We couldn't find you anywhere. I beat him, Scarlet. Whatever he was. 
That was the darkness of our otherwise perfect manor. I thought that rotten blackened stain would stay in hiding after what he did. What'd he do? He attacked my best friend, the lady of the house, and... I never really saw her again. He must have sensed the first human in a good long while. That being you, of course. He told me to tell you he's sorry. He's... sorry? I didn't think monsters were capable of emotions. Well, nonetheless, I still can't thank you enough for bringing us that package. We've been waiting for so long, and the timing was impeccable. If you don't mind me asking, what was in the box? Trinkets from wherever she ended up. The one we lost. They're beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, she's pretty cute. The hedges, silly. I've always loved seeing them like this. I'll truly miss them. I have to go. What? Why, Scarlet, you should totally stay. Our painter is gone, Mr. Booker. Stolen away under the Gourd Moon. The package was her last goodbye, wherever it came from. The least we can do is respect Magnolia's memory. than anyone ever has. I'll see you under the next Gordman.